Today we're going to take a trip together. We're going to take a trip to somewhere. OK, that is really hot, sometimes really cold, without rain. Do you know where it is? No. OK, so are you ready to watch a video together? And yeah, yeah, very good. So let's watch the video. Pay attention, and after watching, we will talk about it, okay? Well, great. So, wait a moment. Let me share my screen. Hello, friends. Welcome to a new happy learning video. Take a look at these images. Today, we're going to see a place where it's both really hot and very, very cold. And where it hardly ever rains. Do you know which place it is? It's the desert. Deserts are arid places where there often appears to be no life. Yet they are home to amazing plants and animals which have had to develop incredible abilities in order to survive. Ah, but what makes a place a desert? It's not the sand, no. Nor is it the heat. It's actually the scarcity of a fundamental liquid, water. If a place receives an average of 25 centimetres of rainfall per year, which is very, very little, then we say that that place is... 25 centimetres. It means actually there is no rain in desert, you know? No rain? Actually, it's rarely, hardly ever, really, really, really rarely. It means maybe sometimes once or twice a year. Okay. Okay. A desert. Deserts cover one fifth of our planet. The most important are the Sahara Desert, the Arabian Desert, the Australian Desert, the Go. Desert and the Atacama Desert. But there are also two very special deserts because they are frozen. The Arctic and the Antarctic Deserts. The world's largest hot desert is the famous Sahara Desert. Here, the temperatures can reach 57 degrees Celsius during the day. Now that's hot but at night, they can drop to 10 degrees below zero. Freezing! This huge temperature change occurs because it's so dry that the clouds can't even form. And the clouds not only produce rain, but also act as a shield. They protect us from the heat of the sun's rays and at night, they prevent heat from escaping. The few plants in the desert are very special because they have had to adapt to the lack of water in order to live. Some store all the water they get in their stems, like these cacti. Others extend roots for many, many meters until they find some moisture. Some remain in a dormant state, as if they were asleep. And when a few raindrops fall, they turn the desert into a garden. How beautiful! Although the truth is, they don't last very long. The animals that live in the desert are also very interesting. Look at these camels. Their humps are full of fat. They are like a reservoir of moisture, and so they can go for up to 10 days without drinking. Other animals, like this lizard or this snake, 
prefer to hide during the day and come out at night to hunt. Deserts are also home to people like nomadic tribes that never stop traveling from one place to another. Their clothes protect them from the heat and the frequent sandstorms. What a hard life! As we said at the beginning, there are frozen deserts. They are in the polar areas of the Arctic and Antarctica. They are huge expanses of ice where it hardly rains and where it's very cold. Moreover, did you know that for many months of the year, in frozen deserts, there is almost no light? Most plants cannot photosynthesize. That's why there are only mosses and lichens. The animals that live in frozen deserts have big layers of fat and lots of fur or feathers to withstand the cold like these polar bears, this arctic fox, and these penguins. Did you know that deserts are growing? Look at these pictures. Deforestation, fires and water pollution are turning places full of life into dry and barren land where nothing grows anymore, where it's very difficult for life to prosper. That's why Happy Learning is asking you to take care of the environment. Don't waste water Pizza. and recycle as much as you can yes, to avoid dear. heat. Can I drink water? Yes, dear. I can't, I can't hear you. Would you check your microphone? It's muted, so I can't hear you. Hannah. Your microphone is muted, so I can't hear you. So, would you check it? Please? Okay. Okay. So, and I'm not okay. I'm not seeing you because you're not uh, sharing your camera. But I want to see you. Okay, great, thank you. Well, so did you watch the video about desert? Yes. Okay, now can you tell me what we can see in desert? What animals, for example? Hat a cow. Hat a cow, Okay, so what animals can we see in um, desert? We can see a snake, camel, a forest snake, camel, lizard, and lizard. lizard, of course. And ant. Oh, very good. And? Ant. Okay, well, Hannah. Uh, I don't know why, but again, your camera has stopped, so, okay, now, it's okay. Well, okay, and tell me, tell me, okay, do we have rain in desert? Mm, sometimes. Okay, sometimes, no, rarely, it means? Not sometimes, less than sometimes, maybe a little, a little, a little, very little. Okay, and now tell me, what is this? Look at this picture. What is this? Do you know the name of this plant? I don't know. Okay, this is cactus or cacti. So, Cactus or cacti? Let me write here for you. Of course, ah, oh, let me change the color. Okay, so that you can see. Okay, we have cactus or cacti. Get it? No. Okay. 
OK, and tell me, uh, does cacti need lots of water? Yeah, it's mean, mm, very. Uh, of course, of course, it doesn't need because this is a desert plant, so it doesn't need lots of water. And tell me, I want to ask you another question. OK, let's talk about the temperature in desert. For example, is it hot or cold during the day? Morning is hot and evening is cold. Yeah, great. Very good. Excellent. Do you know any desert? Hmm? Do you know any desert? Yes. OK, would you tell me the name of a desert that you know? I know Sahara Desert. I know yeah. Gobi Desert. I know Atacama Desert. Yeah, I don't know Sonoran. Yeah, great. Very good. Okay, Antarctica. well. Antarctica. Antarctica. Antarctica is actually, it's kind of desert, but it's really cold. But it's really cold. Snowy, icy. Okay, so it's different All from. Right. I snowy. Yeah, you like, but it's really cold. Do you like it? It's really, really cold. Okay. I like well, snowy because I like to play snow. Yeah, of course, it's it's really interesting, it's, especially for example when it's Christmas. So we have lots of snow, and we can go out. We can actually play with snowballs. Yeah. We can. Yes, dear. Do you play snow? Of course, yes. Of course, yes. I love it. You know, I, you know, for example, I make snowman and of course, you I are use carrots. You're oh, really big. Of course, a really big <clears throat> snowman. I love it. And of course, I really like playing with the snowballs. So I love it. Oh. Okay. Snow what? Pardon? Snow fighting. Yeah, of course. Snow fighting using snowballs. Of course, of course. I love it. Okay, well, now we're going to listen to the audio. Okay, and answer these questions. Are you ready to listen and find the answers? Yes, I'm ready. Very good. So let me play the audio. Give me a moment. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, there is your number twenty. Three, two, one. Track twenty. There are deserts in many parts of the world. Deserts are dry areas of land. Some deserts are sandy. Other deserts are rocky. Deserts can be flat or filled with mountains. Deserts are dry because they get very little rain, less than 25 centimeters of rain in a year. In some deserts, there is no rain for a year or more. All living things need water. Deserts are very dry, so not many plants grow in the desert. However, some plants do grow there. One special desert plant is a cactus. Cactus plants have thick, waxy skin with sharp spines. Cactus plants can live with very little water. Many deserts are hot during the day, but cold at night. For example, the temperature in the day can be over 40 degrees Celsius. That's very hot. At night, the temperature can be close to 5 degrees. That's much cooler. Camels live in some deserts, 
but most desert animals are small. Many of these animals hide under rocks or in underground homes during the hot days. It is cooler under the ground or in the shadow of a rock. At night, when the temperature gets cooler, the, temperature gets the animals come out to look for food. Okay, now let's talk. Yes, dear. I am in the desert. What? You are in the desert? Oh, of course you are. <laughs> okay. Okay, tell me, how's the weather? Cold or hot? It's raining. <laughs> okay. Okay, now, if you're thirsty, if you become thirsty, what are you going to do? Because there is no water. Uh, um... You need to come back. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Um, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Wait me. Okay. I will come back. Okay, I'm back. Okay, you're back? Okay, let me see. Oh! You're back. Oh, such a nice room. I like it. I like it. Well, this is oh, my chair. Oh, of course. It's really cute. I like it. Well, so you're back. That's great. Okay. Well, now I want to ask you a question. Are you ready to answer me? Yes. Great. Okay. What is the weather like in a desert? E. Dry uh, and sunny and rocky. No. What is the weather? Weather like? It's hot and dry. Of course. And yeah. Oh. Okay, very good. And tell me, uh, what type of deserts do we have? Sahara desert. Okay, no, no, Sahara. What types? Okay, so what types? What kind? Dry, sandy, rocky. Sandy and rocky. Okay, so we have. Do you know what uh, actually what sandy desert is? Do you know? It's lots of sand. Of course, as you can see, this is sandy. This is sandy yeah. desert. Do you know this one? And we have rocky desert. Do you know what it is? It's you know? lots of rock. Of course, very good. Okay, and now what is cactus or cacti? Okay, what is what is a cactus? Do you? It's a plant. It's brown. Of course, let me show you. Okay, let me show you above a picture. So wait a moment. Okay. Okay. Wow. Well, well, well. Okay. You're waiting. Okay. So let me show you. Okay. This is the cacti. Okay. <clears throat> You know, okay, so what is cacti? It's a plant. It's a plant. It has been shot. Yeah, of course. That can grow in desert. Well, in the with, desert. Of course, with a little water. Okay. 
And now tell me what do the animal do when it's hot? The animal. <laughs> the animal sleep. Okay, but it's too hot. They need to go to somewhere maybe a little cooler. So where they need to find some cooler place like shadow. Look, for example, as you can see, for example, we have shadow here. Okay, and they can. Okay. Yeah. Of course, of course. For example, this one here. Okay, let me show you something else. Well, okay, for example, this shadow is a good place to stay when it's too hot because it's cooler. So, they can go and they can hide. Okay, well, the next one, let's keep going. Okay. Well, let's find out. This map shows the desert of the world. What continent do you live in? Okay, what continent do you live in? Uh, you. I live in... Wait a minute, I live in uh, Asia. Okay, very good. Now, is there a desert on that continent? Is there any desert in Asia? Teacher, teacher. It, yes. What is Vietnam in? Yeah, what is Vietnam in? North America or South America or Europe or Africa or Asia or Australia. Vietnam is in Asia. Vietnam is in Asia. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Hannah, can I ask you one minute? Just one minute to go on back. Okay? Just okay. One minute. Thank you. Okay, I'm back. Well, okay. Okay. Well, now, which continents are they in? Okay, so let's check. For example, Sahara. Is in Africa or Europe or what? Let's do something. Let's do something. Let's listen and find. Ready? Okay. Yeah? Okay, very good. Let's listen and find. Track 21. The Atacama Desert is in South America. It is the driest place on earth. It gets almost no rain, about one centimeter of rain each year. It is hot during the day and cold at night. Not many plants grow in the Atacama Desert. The Sahara Desert is the largest hot desert on earth. It is a very hot desert. The Sahara Desert is in Northern Africa. It covers 12 different countries. Some parts of the Sahara are sandy, but most parts are rocky. The name Sahara means great desert in the Arabic language. The Sonoran Desert is in North America. Like all other deserts, it is a dry place, but there are a few heavy rainfalls in the summer and in the winter. 
The saguaro cactus plant, the tallest cactus on earth, grows in the Sonoran Desert. A saguaro cactus can grow as tall as a six-story building. The Gobi Desert is in Asia. It is called a cold desert because in the winter it is very cold and very windy. But in the summer, the Gobi Desert can get very hot. There are a few cold deserts in the world. Okay, well, now we know them. Oh, what did you write? Okay, teacher. Thank you, Hannah. Okay, which desert is the largest desert? It's Gobi. Sure. Sahara. <laughs> Sahara, of course. And where is it located? Hmm? It's in. Where is it? It's in. North America. North Africa, not America. Yes. This is North no. Africa. First. Okay. Yes. Well. What? Okay, which desert has the tallest cactus? <laughs> which desert has... Gobi. Okay, it's... I don't think so. Atacama. Okay, so I think, okay, I think we need to listen. I, <laughs> no, no. Okay, I think we need to listen again. Do you agree to listen again? Okay, let's do something. Do you have a pen or a pencil? Yes, I have mine. Yeah, let's do something together. Okay. 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 Very good. And this is something like a competition, me and you. Okay. We listen again, and we will write. Okay. Then. We will have okay competition together. Okay, let's see which can win. Ready? Ready? Ah, mine is this. Okay, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Let's go. Track twenty-one. The Atacama Desert is in South America. It is the driest place on earth. It gets almost no rain, about one Pizza. centimeter of rain yeah. each year. Can you do it again? It is hot during the day and cold Of course, of course. Let's get started again. So let me, okay. Tell me when you're ready. Ready? I'm ready. Track 21. The Atacama Desert is in South America. It is the driest place on earth. It gets almost no rain, about one centimeter of rain each year. It is hot during the day 
and cold at night. Not many plants grow in the Atacama Desert. The Sahara Desert is the largest hot desert on Earth. It is a very hot desert. The Sahara Desert is in northern Africa. It covers 12 different countries. Some parts of the Sahara are sandy, but most parts are rocky. The name Sahara means Great Desert in the Arabic language. The Sonoran Desert is in North America. Like all other deserts, it is a dry place, but there are a few heavy rainfalls in the summer and in the winter. The saguaro cactus plant, the tallest cactus on earth, grows in the Sonoran Desert. A saguaro cactus can grow as tall as a six-story building. The Gobi Desert is in Asia. It is called a cold desert because in the winter it is very cold and very windy. But in the summer, the Gobi Desert can get very hot. There are a few cold deserts in the world. Okay, so again, okay, which desert is the largest desert? Who can say? E. It's... E. Uh. I know. <laughs> hmm? I don't understand how it works. Okay, Sahara. Sahara is the largest, okay, uh, desert that is located in North Africa. So, Sahara, okay. Now, the next question. Okay, which desert has the tallest cactus? What is tall cactus? Tall is very tall cactus. Very, very tall, it means. Is hmm, a Tacama. Okay, so let me say, okay, let me say. First of all, let's learn the name of the tallest cactus. The tallest, it means very, very, very tall, okay? And its name is Seguara, okay? Okay. Seguara, yeah, of course, let me write Seguara, okay. Seguara is... Yeah, let me show you. And it's in Sonoran. Tall mountain or something tall? Of course, it's really, really tall. Let me show you. I want to show you something. Okay. What? What is tall in Segura? Okay. Let me show you something. Just wait a moment. Okay. Let me show you something. Uh, if I can find it, Segura cactus. Okay. Let me, let me find it. That is really, 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 really tall. Okay. Something like this. Let me show you. Okay, this one. Let me upload it so that you can see. Well, okay, now we have it here. So, let me upload it so that you can see it on the screen. Okay, now this is, let me show you, the tallest cactus. Can you see? <laughs> it's really tall. Can you see? Ooh. What's tall? It's tall. Mm. Tall. Okay. I don't know how to say it. You don't know how to say it? How to say what? This is? Yeah. Let me write. Tall <laughs> cactus. Tall. Okay. Get it? Okay. Oh, I know how to write cactus. Okay, and cactus, okay, yeah. cactus, 
Industry. Yeah, phrase you. <laughs> okay, so and this is the tallest. Okay, the tallest cactus. Ah, this is Saguara. Okay, well, now let me close this. <clears throat> okay, open the book again. So, the next question, which desert is wetter? Atacama mm -hmm. or the Sonoran Desert? It means it has mm -hmm. more rain. It has more rain. Is, uh, is North America. Very good. Okay, you say Sonoran. I think, you know, I think uh, Gobi or no, Sonoran, of course. And which desert is cold? Is colder in winter? Okay, Gobi Desert or... Yeah. Atacama. Okay, no. Gobi. Gobi is really cold in winter. Gobi is really, really, really cold in winter. Okay? Very good. Okay. Get it? Did you understand? Yes. Very good. Okay, uh, now let me show you. So let me show you something. Okay, just give me a moment to upload it and show you something. Okay, as you can see, we have some words here like largest, tallest, or weather. Okay, so what are these words? Let's talk about them. I'm going to show you something. So Teacher, I don't know how to write science. How to write I what? Science. Let me write for science. you. Science. This is science. Okay, now let me show you something, then talk about them. Well, okay, <clears throat> look at this, okay, look at this words. Like, we have some words, some adjectives like big, small, hot, cold, tall, short, fat. Thick and happy. Happy, happy, calm, Everything. Bigger, smaller, hotter, colder, taller, shorter, fatter, thicker, happier, happier. <laughs> you, you Super happy. Bigger, smallest, hottest, coldest, tallest, shortest, fattest, thickest, happy. Of course. But you know all the words very good. Yeah, you have. Yeah, I have. I have the same. Happy, of course. Okay, well, um, let me talk about comparative and superlative. For example, okay, I want to compare these two. Look, this and this. This is fat, this is thin, fat, thin. I say this one, this one is fatter, fatter than this one. So I say... This I don't know what is fat. Okay. Fat means like this. Look at me. Fat. Look. Fat. <laughs> fat. Like this. Look. Fat. <laughs> okay. Look. Let me show you. Fat. Look at these pictures. Look at these pictures. This one is fat. You I will share my screen for you. Okay. Great. I that's cheering. Okay, share your screen to me. Yes. Okay, let me see. What are you sharing? 
what I do. Yeah, of course, fat and thin. Of course, I can see fat and thin. Okay, very good. Now it's my turn. Okay. Okay, now let me share my screen, okay? So let's talk about it. for example, elephant is big. Elephant is big. But baby elephant is not very big. Mommy elephant is bigger. Daddy elephant is very big. So baby elephant is big like this. Look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. Like this. Okay, this one. This is baby elephant. Okay. This is mommy elephant, mommy elephant. And this is daddy elephant. That's really big. So mommy elephant is bigger than, bigger than baby elephant. And that elephant is biggest, the biggest. It means bigger than mommy, bigger than baby. Okay, now this mouse is small, okay? This mouse, look, let me show you something. Let me show you. I want to I wanna draw something, okay? So, for example, this flower is small. Okay, let me draw something. This is a small, okay? And, but another one, this one is a smaller. Is a little smaller. This one is a smaller. And this one is really small. Look. Look, this is really small. Okay, so small, smaller, smallest small smaller smallest okay. okay now we say this coffee is hot oh it's really hot okay but your coffee is hotter and for example we can say sahara desert is the hottest desert in the world it means very, very, very hot, hottest, okay? Ice cream is cold. Ice cream is cold. But ice is colder. I think ice is a little colder. Small. Okay, very good. Let me... Yeah, <laughs> of course. Small and big. Okay, now you you need to okay you need to do something. Tell me, small or smaller? Okay, baby elephant is okay. Let me write. We have baby elephant. Okay, this is. Let me. For example, I want to show you. For example, this is. Okay, give me a moment. Okay, this is an elephant. <laughs> Let me show you. This is my elephant. Okay. So this is my elephant. Okay. This is baby elephant. And this is mommy elephant. Look, this is mommy elephant. Bigger. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I know how to draw an elephant. You miss yeah, the ear. Yeah, you know, but I don't know. Do you need to help the me? Ear, the ear, the ear, the ear. Oh, of course, I ear. forgot. Let me draw. Yeah, of course, let me draw. Okay, so the ears. Okay, this one. <laughs> okay. Yes. This one, for example, and we have daddy elephant. I'm going to draw. OK, so let me. This is daddy elephant. It's really big. OK, so. And let me show oh, you. Baby, it's very big. It's big like this. OK, and it's. 
Okay, now tell me, which one is big? Which one is bigger? Which one is biggest? Tell me. The big is baby elephant. Bigger is mommy elephant and the biggest is daddy elephant. Very good. This is biggest one. Okay, excellent to you. He's right in the tummy. Yeah, of course. I wrote here. Okay. Big, bigger, biggest. Okay, so now tell me. Um short, shorter, shortest. Let me draw something. Okay, let me draw. Okay, let me clean this. Ice cream. Okay, let's let's go, elephants. Okay, I want to draw something else. Ready? Okay. So I want to draw a uh, this one. Okay, candle, something like this. For example, I have a candle like this. This is my candle, for example. <laughs> and this one. It's something like this. It's too hard. And we have this one. Okay, and let me, okay, let me do it a little better. Okay, so I think. For example, this one, okay. For example, okay. Which one is tall? Which one is taller? Which one is tallest? This is one. This is two. This is three. Which one okay. is tall? Which one is taller? Number three. Okay, number, number three. Three is. Number three is tall. Three is tall. Tall. Yes, yeah, number three. Okay, three is tallest. Is really tall. Look at look at me. Okay, look. Okay, this is tallest, and then, then, then. So this one is tallest, and the second is bigger is three, bigger is two, and uh, short, short is one. Okay, of course. Tall, so tall say, is uh, one, taller is two, course. taller tall. is three. Yeah, of course. Tall, taller, tallest. Okay. <coughs> Very good. Well, okay, you uh, of course. Okay, what are they? Okay, now the next oh. one. Oh, I have I have I have me. Short, short. Yeah, you have okay, this for example, for example, green is fattest. Green is the fattest, is really fat. Fattest. And then this one, the second one, I then this is pink. Pink one is fatter and blue one is fat. No, of course, they're the same. Something like this. Yeah. OK, now uh, yeah. we have. OK, now we have short. For example, let me show you. OK. This is. And this is, and this is, okay, so we have number one, okay. It looks so. like a snowman. <laughs> one, two, <laughs> I'm trying to draw, but it's so hard. Okay, so which one is short? Which one is it's shorter? No. Is number one. Okay, so which one is shortest? Is number three. Okay, okay, number one is okay. Yeah, of course, number three is shortest. And which one is shorter? Number two. Very good. For example, we say two is shorter. Shorter than than which one? Then one. It then means number one. Of course, and three, of course, and three is the three. shortest. 
short hair than number one. Okay, so shorter so, than. So Hannah, when do we say ear? Yeah. yeah, shorter yes. than and the short. Then number one. Of course. Well, now look at this word. Look at this. Okay. And now tell me, for example, okay, this is, okay, let me show you something. For example, this mouse is number one. This mouse is number two. This mouse is number three. Okay, now it's your turn. You tell me, for example, for example, mouse number one. Okay, number two is smaller than number one. Okay, say. Um, mouse number one is smaller than mouse number three. Oh, but I no. think number three is smaller than. Now, mouse number two is smaller than mouse number one. Good job, excellent. And which one is the smallest? The smallest is number three. Yeah, you deserve the prize. So let me give you a prize because you deserve it. Excellent to you. <laughs> oh, and I have a diamond. <laughs> oh, you have a diamond. Thank you. We I send you a Oh, you send me a ring? Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, my dear Hannah. So next session, we will talk about this sport again and again. But I will send you a worksheet and I want you to do it, okay? Hey. Okay, and if you have any question, you can ask me, okay? Okay. Well, my dear Hannah, do you have any questions? No. Okay, so let me stop recording.